I didn't even know if we was gonna have a place to stay. later than nine o'clock and three kids and one other adult and it's just sometimes just never go as planned <laughs> um so from time to time i am going to be coming in letting you guys know what's the move what is going on i have my girls in the back <laughs> and this is going to be a long trip <laughs> i'm just saying have my um, two girls in the back and then my husband has his mom and my son, our son, in his truck. And excuse all of the shaking. I mean, I got this trap contraption thing going on that I got yesterday. I actually like it, but I don't like that it's not, um, I know it just shakes with everything. I don't know if I told you that the reason why we didn't leave yesterday is because we got up, I ended up, um, the day that we were talking, I don't remember how far along I got, but we got up and my husband's truck would not crank. So it was like, thank you, Lord, for allowing that to happen now and not, you know, on the road. So we got the truck seat about, it ended up being the battery which thank you good lord for that because we already got enough expenses on our hands uh, which in return because that happened it threw off everything else i was supposed to be going to get my tires well going to get my tr truck seat about and then his truck seat about um and his tires and come to find out i'm thinking like oh i ain't gonna need no tires i just bought tires not too long ago and like well yeah but it's you know i would definitely say your your fronts are already wore so at least get two tires so we got two tires for my truck and I already knew that my husband needed tires so two tires for him so four tires and we just been spending money left and right and I'm just telling you military and that's why people love to holly you know military got it but when it's a time to move you still need even though they reimburse reimburse you your money you still need to uh be able to have money so that things come up let's say like uh my husband and his travel card uh we was having issues with that so you know just keep your receipts baby and that's what i mean that's all i can do i keep my receipts anyway but definitely for that reason it's just a lot that goes into it that people don't understand and just like now being able to have to drive two separate vehicles so that means two times the gas and then you know food and then a place to stay because this ride is a long ride and so we're going to break this ride up as much as we can to make it so that it's not too much on either of us but I definitely just want to make people aware that you know just because the uh, military doesn't mean that they pay for everything and that you know what I'm saying you they do eventually and that's a big eventually when you know what I'm saying once you get get to where you're going and you file for it and stuff like that and it take them about 15 to 30 days to get you your money so it's just like either even though they give it back it's just still you gotta have have everything in order um so let's just say thank god our move came well we made it so that you know it'll be right after we got paid and that you know we'll be okay i was trying to make it so that that we moved out of our place and then we wouldn't have to worry about rent so that would be extra money but it didn't end up happening that way 
and I'm sorry for the shakiness of this video um, but I just definitely wanted to get some footage um, I'm gonna try to hold it like this the military is definitely not always what people make it um, yeah, it, it begins to be a lot didn't come back uh, we got to uh, Dallas or well, Arlington so it's about 20 miles I think from or 20 minutes uh, from Dallas which is fine um, we made it here last night around 9 almost 10 o'clock um, these people here this is probably like the second time someone has almost hit me but um anyway so uh yeah so we got here last night about 10 i think and yeah i was tired it wasn't too bad of a drive but we still have a long way to go um, so we're gonna try to make it to Mississippi get a room there um, I think it was Moranian or Morani Moranian I don't know how to pronounce it I'm pronounce it wrong I don't know but I told you guys I'll be coming back from time to time letting you guys update you guys let you know know what's the next move um, last night we got at the room and then my husband is crazy about in and out I don't know why, but he went to um, to California, um, I can't remember what part, and he tried in and out So he was like, babe, I like in and out let's try in and out They have one in Dallas. So it was like maybe a mile away from our uh, hotel. Yeah, these people here cannot drive. Let me just say that again. But anyway, um, I'm looking a little, you know, but hey, traveling. Yeah. Um, I know I keep saying um because I'm trying to think. But yeah, in and out was like a mile from our room. So we decided, okay, let's try. I'll, I'll give it a try. I tried it and I just, I, I think it was okay at best. It wasn't like everybody. Well, I don't know. I know somebody did say like their fries are not um, as good. But I mean, hey, they were, I don't know. It was okay. Like I said, I'll probably get a, a five out of 10. But of course, you know, that's a Cali thing. So I don't know if it has anything to do and if it's the same. But yeah, so after we did that, came back. It was probably about, I want to say about 1230 when I finally laid down. The bed was amazing. Like. I felt like I was sleeping on clouds, so I definitely needed that. Um, we had a good night rest. Got up. The hotel had breakfast, so we got up. I made a big tray for everybody. Brought breakfast back. Had breakfast, and then got ready to get on the road. It's now 11.16, so now we're headed to Mississippi. We should get there around 4-ish. If, I mean traffic is already picking up so I can say at least by 6 we should get there and um, get the room and get some, something to eat and then we'll be back on the road again and hopefully that'll be the last time we make it to Georgia drop my mother-in-law off and then we'll stay there for a couple days maybe I'm only let my, my girls um spend a little time and I you know they really haven't had much of a summer so I really want them to you know my mom has a pool so I want to get you know get them let them you know spend a little time with their cousins hopefully the weekend will be near and that way they'll be out of school and we can leave headed headed that way um, to Virginia oh they have an outlet like we really need to stop at the Nike outlet. That would be great. Cause I have not 
got school nothing i haven't got school clothes school shoes because i really didn't know whether the school she's going to is going to be uniform or not so i was trying to wait till i get there which me you know how i am i'm well i don't know y'all don't know how i am y'all get to know me but i'm i hate being last minute doing stuff last minute and that's pretty much what what i'm doing right now everything is so last minute i haven't really prepared it's just kind of like and that's just the army life it's hard to prepare for something that it's like that's just how you roll um and you can prepare for it and it completely turned left field and then you know everything that you've done is pretty much doesn't matter because you got to start off from scratch and that's pretty much what it is here yeah, so I definitely will be coming back, letting you guys know what's going on. I'm going to probably show you a little of the scenery, and then, yeah, I'll see you in a bit. in Texas I should have booked the hotel but I wanted to make sure that um, we was gonna make it there in the time because I know the traffic and it was like a lot of road work going on so I didn't know I was like when we get closer I'll go ahead and book the hotel I should have booked the hotel then and I didn't so I waited till we got about four hours outside of uh, Meridian or Mississippi and I called mind you I'm on the road hey I want to book a hotel at the first hotel that I wanted it because this the hotel we stayed at last night was I looked at that hotel too when um, I was looking up hotels but I was just like something just now it's something off about that hotel so I don't want to stay there I'm gonna stay at this one. so the hotel that originally I was gonna stay at didn't have uh, the availability or, you know all of us I think they had one room and the room was like a queen that was all they had so I was so they was like well we have um, this hotel next to us next door to us is our sister uh, hotel called home Two. It's ran by the same company and I'm like so I, I you know okay let me uh, look them up because I looked you guys up I seen your reviews and I just you know let me see so I hung up with them kind of you know looked at the reviews for this for the hotel that she was re recommending me and they had even better reviews so I'm like okay let me call them and so they only had one room I don't know what was going on y'all excuse me I'm looking rough but hey <laughs> anyway but um, I don't know what was going on but everybody was renting rooms in that area and they didn't have availability either. The only thing they had was a king size. But of course, you know, it's six people, what we gonna do? You know, so I was like, okay. So I was telling the lady, you know, I'm on the road and I'm trying to book a hotel um, that is gonna accommodate all of us. I was like, yeah. she was like, you know what? Let me, um, like, give me an hour. So I'm like, okay. So mind you, I'm on the road and I didn't wanna keep going and pretty much wait on this last hope pretty much. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just call the one hotel that I was saying that I ain't, wasn't too sure if I wanted to stay at. So I ended up calling them and they ended up having availability. Yeah, we have two rooms. That's, you know, that's all we have. I'm like, you know what? I'll take them. So I get there to the rooms and y'all, the first, I mean, you know, one, the rooms weren't, you know, close at all. One was on the first floor. The, se the second one was on the third floor. Which was no problem because, like I said, I didn't even know if we was going to have a place to stay. So that wasn't a problem that it was, you know, on separate floors. 
So I got the kids in their room um, with their grandma. The girls slept with their grandma and I took Jacob and my, me and my husband, we slept in the room upstairs. I get to my room, mind you, my room, the only room they, I mean, that was the only rooms they had available, but it was handicap accessible, which was no problem. But I get to my room and the tub looked like, yeah, looked like, I don't even know, like they didn't even clean it. It was hair all over the tub and it was just like, really? And mind you that the rooms, were, you know, it wasn't like it was a cheap room. The room was like 140 something dollars a night. So you know I was hot. <laughs> and so I went to the office and I'm just like, hey, you know, my room, I'm having issues with my tub, like it's dirty. Like I'm paying all this money for this room. I want for my room to rewrite. Mind you, we stayed, uh, sorry y'all we stayed at um the same exact hotel well, it was an exact hotel but it it was the same name in arlington and when i tell you the the experience was amazing the rooms were amazing the beds oh my god i feel like like i told you i felt like i was sleeping on clouds but then i get to this room the room is dirty and the beds is just like eh. mind you i think that the rooms in arlington was like 129 dollars a night so it was like $20 more. It was more for that room. And I just was like, I'm paying for this. I need for it to be right. He was like, you know, the guy that was uh, at the uh, front desk was just like so nice. Like, Girl, I know, I know, you know, um, we can uh, give you a discount on the room. First, they didn't even want to send somebody to clean the room. They just was going to give me a discount off my room. So I really want to call and uh make a complaint but you know what i'm saying like i'm turning over a new leaf and you know what i'm saying it, it wasn't his fault not really his fault but you know what i'm saying like i feel like they if you're going to charge that much for a room it needs to be top notch not just that you know it looks to be like the rest of the hotel you can tell the lady they was doing crappy job remodeling like they were saying you know hiring maybe <laughs> they uncle cousin somebody to come and fix on it like the the floor the third floor i could just walking on the floor it just seemed like it was just i don't know if they had um maybe somebody flooded that floor or what i don't know what was going on but i know something just wasn't right and when i seen that hotel i got that vibe and it was just like i was right all along but so we got up this morning we didn't get a chance to eat breakfast because we kind of got up late and so we stopped to get something for the kids eating and now we're headed to our, my hometown so we are about six hours out um, from my hometown so we're gonna stop there for a day or so and then we'll be headed to Virginia so I just wanted to give you guys that little quick update let you know Oh my goodness, that was a mess. Okay, so I guess I wanna explain like what happened after we finally made it into Georgia. Um, of course, we got some rest. We weren't so supposed to stay as long as we did, but we did. Um, I always try to make time for um, the people who be waiting for me to come home to do their nails and stuff. So I did that for a few days. And then uh, I took time to spend with my brother. Um, this was his aquarium at his house. I'm so fascinated. I don't know why, but I always get fascinated with it. I also stopped in at my friend's because during that time, it was like a week after her mom's funeral, which I wasn't able to make because we were moving. What up, what up, um, what up? But I wanted to be there for okay, her the best way I could. So, so I took a day or so to you know spend with her to try to make sure that she was, you I know. We I know that it was Georgia. nothing I could say to her, oh, but you know, just to be there for my friend. And this was the clip. So you guys just um, stay tuned. Back home, and we're still here. Okay, are you gonna go or what? Anyway, um, we're here, and we've been here since was it Friday? No, sorry, we've been here since Sunday afternoon, and today is I think Tuesday. Y'all. Okay, please hurry up and turn because you're getting on my nerves. 
Anyway, so we ended up. Did somebody have a wreck? Oh no. Oh yeah, that's my car. I had to push your car. Okay, I'm so nosy, y'all. <laughs> y'all gotta forgive me. <laughs> I bet I'm looking too stupid. I'm too nosy, but anyway, I'm um, here on Sunday, and after Sunday, like, I was really into it. <laughs> I was trying to figure out what was going on. Um, we got here on Sunday, and we've been here since. So I went to my friends. And just spend some time with her because I know she's really down. She just lost her mom, and it's just hard. She's been my friend since seventh grade, so like 16 years that's a long time. But yeah, and to see her like I never seen, I have never seen her like that, and it's just it hurts to see my friend like that. And I just want to be there for her. Even though there's nothing I can say to make her feel better, you know, when you lose your mom, I can only imagine. Because my mom is my best friend, so, and I know we all gonna one day have to go through that. <sighs> but I just hurt for her. And so, yeah, I went to spend time with her, so now I'm headed back to my mama's. And I got the kids, and there'll be something to eat, so we're gonna eat. Well, they gonna eat because I ate with my friend. And so, yeah. Um, I'm, I will be coming back. Letting you guys know what's the next move. I don't know. I'm, I really was trying to just relax. Um, and I think that was it. That's all I really wanted to tell you guys. Kind of what was going on. Um, I know we was only supposed to stay here for... Well, actually, we was schedule just to stay tonight but then we realized like okay the house won't be ready until a certain time so we may might as well we can you know stay a few more days let's stay a few more days which is nice because i've been spending a lot of time on nieces and nephews um the kids they been having a blast they were with their cousins my sister um kids and my brother's kids and having a good old time and then after that we went and she went to go see her dad's side and they had fun laughing playing just having a good old time so my god see my kids they're enjoying that I, that's what i like to see my kids enjoying because i know we don't get that often so yeah um that's about it I, like I said, I'll come back and let you guys know. I don't even know how this is going to go. You know what? What I should have really been doing is like a live. I'm going to try live one day. But my internet has been sucky. That, oh, that was another thing I wanted to say. My internet, it really don't, ain't allowing me to post. It's so slow. So, so I couldn't even imagine trying to post anything. Anytime I post anything at home, it still be take a long time. But this time, I don't know. It's definitely slow. And I ain't trying to be stuck doing that. So, whenever I do, I'm going to upload it accordingly. And I'll see you guys. What up, y'all? Okay, back for another update. You know, I hadn't talked to y'all in a few days. Like I said, I was home. I meant to stay only, like, stay tonight and then leave the next day. But it ended up being, like... Three, four days so yeah I stayed um, at my mom's and I'm leaving from her house now headed to Virginia okay guys that's it for this vlog I'm so sorry that it was so long um, hopefully you made it to the end of this video um, my next video will be the empty house tour so if you're interested stay tuned and I'll see you then bye